Hi, I'm Sam Schaefer, owner of Titanium Archery Products. Today's video is going to be a test of two bows, shooting arrows through the chronograph. I often do videos like this just to satisfy my own curiosity about how close these bows can shoot to their rated IBO speeds. So I have in my hand here PSC Carbon Levitate Bow. This is a 2022 model bow. And I also have, that I'll be using against this bow to compare, PSC Omen, which is a bow that was put out late in 2022, but is considered, in a sense, a 2022 and 2023 bow. So I know what that bow is capable of. I hunted with it extensively. I've been using it throughout my 3D season. Uh, won my individual division with that bow, so I know it's very accurate and it's very, very fast but I don't know how fast this bow will be. So I'll give you the specs so that you can see that we're comparing very similar bows in terms of the numbers. This bow is set for 27 and a half inch draw. It has the E2 cams, which only go down to 27 and a half. So I can't go any shorter. It is 71 pound draw. It's shooting a 414 grain arrow. I have it set on the 85% let off settings. Of course, we have our titanium draw stops here, and they're on both bows. As far as the setup goes with accessories, we're talking about essentially identical systems. We have our adjustable cable guard system that's now out for the Mach 34 to levitate on this bow. Tap string stop, the Omen has an adjustable system as well for the cable guard, Titan cable slides. So they're very similar. So let's start here with the, uh, the uh, levitate, I'm gonna set Omen and shoot these three arrows and see what we get. And then I'll talk a little bit about how I arrive at my conclusion on whether it's meeting its IBO rating or not. So shot one is 291 feet per second. And that's about where I was thinking it would come in with this weight of arrow. I'll shoot two more so we get some consistency here. We can see if the arrow speeds stay pretty constant. Shot two is duplicate, so we got another 291. Let's see if we can go three shots in a row with the same speed. This bow is a very smooth drawing bow, at least by my perspective, compared to the Omen. The Omen, uh, isn't necessarily a rough drawing bow, but it does dump off a lot of it at the back end on that cam. I have the S2 cam on the Omen. So by, by comparison, this E2, it draws smoother throughout the draw cycle. Now, I would say it stacks up a bit more quickly, the way it does. And, well, we did it, 291, three shots in a row. So very consistent speeds from this bow. Now, moving on to the Omen. Uh, like I said, I've shot this bow a good bit, and it is a bow that I have a, a lot of fondness for. It. I really like how it shoots. I've gotten so accustomed to it. It shot so well for me in the 3D League, and I shot my best scores ever with this bow. So I know how fast it shoots. And I, I generally speaking, will see a top speed of about 304 from this bow. Three out of three.
And as I noted earlier, uh, the specs for that bow are <clears throat> similar, but not exactly the same as the levity. So the Omen is 70 and a half pounds. So 70.5, we're talking about a 27 inch draw here. So it's at a disadvantage on that respect compared to the Levitate. And this is set at 90% let off. Also have, of course, like I said, these, these titanium draw stops on here. So, you know, just looking at those numbers, if you didn't know the IBO ratings between these two bows, you might think the Levitate has the advantage on speed. And duplicate 303. So these bows, when they're set up with our gear, are known to be very, very consistent shot to shot with speeds. You don't, you don't see a lot of fluctuation. And that is something a lot of people have noted when they've switched to the Titan cable slide, is that they are seeing more consistency in their speeds. And even a foot or two per second can make a difference, especially at longer range on where the arrow actually impacts. Shorter range, you wouldn't, you know, say 20, 20, 30 yards, you're not likely to see much of a difference there. And 303. So that's six shots in a row that we got exactly the same speed off these, off these bows. And the fastest I've seen off that bow ever is 304 with this arrow weight. So now, now I'm going to break down and talk about what this really means in regard to the, to the IBO rating. So the Levitate came in at about, what, 291? So what we would want to do to calculate if it's, if it's meeting its rating and this is also an estimate. You have to understand that everything here is to some degree an estimate. But say take 291, now let's look at the draw length. Well, we're at 27 and a half. IBO rating is based off a 30 inch, 70 pound bow. In this case it's 71. For draw length, you need to add 25 feet per second to the speed we got because of the fact that we're under and you generally get about 10 feet per second for inch of draw. So you're going to add 25 feet back in. You're also going to add in based off arrow weight. Now this arrow is 414, so that's 64 grains over what the minimum arrow weight could be for that test. So 30 inches, 70 pounds, 350 grains would be the test arrow for the IBO weighting. Well, because we're 64 over, you have to add some speed back. And I found over the years that about 2.75 grains maybe as much as three, but I, I use 275. For every 2.75 in grains above 350, you're going to actually lose about a foot per second in speed. So by taking 64, dividing it by 2.75, you get 23.27. That's added back to the speed. I'm also gonna add three feet per second for peep sight. You lose about three feet per second roughly because of your peep. And then I'm going to subtract three feet per second. That's because of the draw weight being above 70 pounds. It's one pound over. So for every pound, you're going to gain about three feet per second. And that's why we have to subtract it because it had a slight advantage there. So that factors out to about 339, maybe 340 IBO. Based off of my, my results here. This bow though is rated at 348. So Where's the difference coming in at? I don't really know. Maybe it's just overrated a little bit. Uh, there, there are other things I could do to test down the line, but at this point, that's my initial impression. So now with the Omen, this thing I would say overperformed, or it's at least performed according to what it's rated. That's, that's my initial thought. So we're looking at 303. We're going to be adding in 30 feet per second because this bow is only 27 inch draw. You're also going to be adding that 23.27, the same as you did for the Levitate. 
We're also going to add three for the peep site. And in this case, I'm only going to subtract 1.5 feet per second because of the fact that I'm only half a pound over 70.5. So that brings me to about a 358-359 uh, IBO rating. And that is pretty spot on with what they advertise from the factory. So, or at least I've seen 355. Now this is the S2 cam. I think that the, uh, the E2 cam is rated a little lower. So I feel like this is, this is dead on with where it should be, maybe even slightly above. Very pleased. This bow has been shot extensively and it's still performing at top, top level. So I appreciate you checking in, I, as always. It's something that I like to do, you know, put out information about products that I use, how they might impact you, talk about our gear in the process, and anything you guys do to support us is greatly appreciated. You can go to taparchery.com to learn more about the things we sell. If you have questions, feel free to reach out, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. That's Eastern Time, 717-814-9169. You can text or call. Take care. Stay tapped out.